In this video, I'm going to test out how well Project Cars 2 runs on the Pimax 5K Plus and on the Pimax 8K on my 1080 Ti. And then I'm going to compare the experience on the Vive Pro. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so don't miss anything. Now, this is the first video of a whole new series of videos where I'm going to test the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K with lots of different games and they're all running on my Pimax rig that I built especially for the Pimax headsets. Now, this rig runs a 1080 Ti graphics cards, not overclocked, just the simple 1080 Ti. And if you wanna find out more about the components that I use for my Pimax rig, please have a look in the description below this video. Also, I would like to tell you that I'm using the built-in microphones of the headsets. So right now, in this moment, I'm using the microphone of the Pimax 5K Plus. When I use the 8K, I'm going to use the microphone of the 8K. And when I use the Vive Pro, I'm going to use the built-in microphone of the Vive Pro. But now, let's start with the Pimax 5K Plus and Project Cars 2. All right, this is the Pimax 5K Plus and this is Steam VR Home and we start with some basic tests. For all the tests, I'm using the normal FOV of the Pimax headsets and I'm using Pi Tool quality setting 1.0 and Steam super sampling at 100%. First of all, let's um, let me tell you what I see in terms of FOV. So I can see until, okay, this is the FOV that I'm seeing right now with the Pimax 5K Plus at the normal FOV. Then about, um, yeah, I can see the FPS here. So FPS, yes, average FPS, like I would say 88 frames per second. And yeah, it does actually reach the full panel refresh rate quite a lot, which is 91 hertz. Then also I'm doing the wiggle test where I do this here, fast right left movement, and the world stays perfectly where it's supposed to stay. There's no, no moving of the world with me when I do this here. So this is very good. All right. But now let's see how well Project Cars 2 runs on the Pimax 5K Plus. All right, so this is Project Cars 2 on the Pimax 5K Plus. And I can simply tell you, it looks amazing. It looks fantastic. And it runs super smooth here. Um, well, what is, what is the most exciting thing here? Definitely the FOV. The FOV is so phenomenal right now. So I do, I still, I still do see, oh, I'm a bad driver here. <laughs> I still do see um, black borders on the very right and very left, but you know what? It, it simply feels like as if I would be wearing a racing helmet. So actually, yeah, actually it feels just right. Um, about, the, about the clarity of the picture, very clear so i can i can perfectly read everything that's here in the cockpit like like the display under the steering wheel here on the left i can read the, the lap times and and they're not they're not really they're not really like uh, like big or so but i can still read them nicely um yeah so it's not easy to to talk with you guys and to run at the and and to race at the same time, but I simply want to tell you what I see right now. So it it just looks good. It just looks good. The picture is clear. Everything runs fluidly here, and yeah, the field of view is the star of the show. Just like I told you in my review of the Pimax 8K and of the Pimax 5K Plus. Um, next, let's have a look at the frames per second here. So I'm also running the FPS VR. So let's have a look. Okay, I have to stop racing now. 
So let's have a look at the frames per second that this runs. So we have an average FPS of 53.3. So this runs now at 53.3 on my Pimax computer, which runs on a 1080 Ti. I'm using PyTool 1.0 and Steam Super Sampling 100%. So definitely I could still get higher frame rates, frame rates if I wanted to, if I would be setting down the super sampling to 80 or to 70 or whatsoever. But I simply want to test this with the standard settings of Pi Tool 1.0 and Steam super sampling at 100%. So again, yeah, 53.2 and it runs nice. So even if I'm like shaking my head or doing anything, it, it feels like I am in this car. And especially with this with this FOV, it's it's simply amazing, right? So it, it just feels as if you would be wearing a helmet, a racing helmet. And actually that adds to the immersion. So I would say this is the dream of every Project Cars 2 fan. And without a doubt, I've never played it like this. All right, that is the Pimax 5K Plus. Next in line is the Pimax 8K. Let's check it out. All right, now it's time to test the Pimax 8K. And again, we're here in Steam VR. I'm using PyTool 1.0 and Steam Super Sampling at 100%. Again, normal FOV. So my FOV right now, my field of view is like, like that. This is my FOV right now. Then let's also do the wiggle test here. And I'm doing this here right now. And yes, unfortunately, like I told you, the world is a bit moving with me. So it's not perfectly sticking now. This this recent apps, for example, right? If I do this, it, it wiggles to the right and left. So this is the big difference as compared to the Pimax 5K Plus where everything stays exactly in the, in the same space. So if you got the devices, try it out yourself. Do this here and you will see, you don't even have to do this. You have to just do this. You will see that the world is moving slightly with you. Right, in terms of um, FPS, yeah, as you can tell, average FPS 78.4, but as you actually can tell from the current FPS, it's 80, so it's the maximum refresh rate of, of the Pimax 8K. Yeah, it's a difference. It's a difference, and especially the wiggling thing is, yeah, is a problem in my, in my point of view, in my opinion. All right, so now again, let's try Project Cars 2 on the Pimax 8K. All right, so Project Cars 2 now with the Pimax 8K. And well, still exactly the same beautiful FOV, no question, it, this is simply amazing. I think everyone, every single Project Cars 2 player will feel amazed by this. It's, it's just so much better. It's just so much better as compared to everything that's currently on the market right now. And that is great. Anyways, let me, compare, let me still compare this now with what I just saw in the, in the, in the Pimax 5K+. Plus. So I can tell that... The picture clarity is not as good as with the Pimax 5K Plus. And, and where can I see this? Like if I compare this now with, with the display that I see here, this one, two, three, four, five, right? That you can see beneath the steering wheel. I cannot read this as clearly as I could with the Pimax. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad driver. <laughs> with the Pimax um, 5K Plus. So, so there is a difference, definitely. Also now the the round numbers, I cannot read them as clearly as I could do that before. So there is a difference in clarity. And well, if I now look at the colors, well, honestly, if I see it like one after another, I really don't see such huge differences at all. Probably if you would put it next to each other, like I did when I was, um, looking at the Elite Dangerous trailer before, probably then you would see it, but if you just play the 5K plus and then now the 8K, I don't think you would really be seeing the differences 
in the colors. Yeah, so it's still it's still a great experience and well for the mo world moving with you if you wiggle your head like this, well, yes. You could see it here too, but but actually you won't do that, right? Actually, if you just normally drive, you won't you won't have problems with that. No, not at all. It's it's still a fantastic experience. Just like the only thing it's not as clear as the Pimax 5K Plus. Let's have a look now at at the um, at the frames per second, if we can tell a difference compared to the other one. And here actually, wow, interesting. Here we have an average frame rate per second of 57.4. So it is actually a bit higher than, than what we saw right now with the Pimax 5K Plus. Now that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, probably because you're using, I don't know, actually, actually it doesn't make really sense why exactly we would have a higher frame rate right now. Anyways, Comparing directly comparing these two, I can tell you that I would that I would choose the the Pimax 5K Plus every time. Now, now if I would compare the screen door effect, you know, actually, I I would also say that the Pimax 5K Plus I feel it's a bit less. Oh here, oh here are the others, because here I can tell this diagonal subpixel structure and I can see that pretty clearly on on the white background now that we have this little black dot so yeah really if I compare Pimax 5k plus against the 8k definitely I would choose the Pimax 5k plus okay now the average frame rate is at 56 yeah anyways it runs smooth it runs smooth it is fun to play and I'm running it on a 1080 Ti. All right. That's it for the Pimax 8K. Now I'm going to change to the Vive Pro. All right, and now I'm here in Steam VR with the Vive Pro. And well, my first reaction now, oh my goodness, the FOV is so minimal. It is really really laughable let me show you that so now it's like like this this is my fov right now with the vive pro and also i'm on the super sampling at a hundred percent good what else can i tell you here now well frames per second 90 very stable well average i don't i think this is going to go up now actually look at this very stable at 90 90 frames per second and now let's also do the test like looking to the left and right very fast <laughs> okay so actually the virtual world stays perfectly in place but what's funny here with the vive pro the whole the device would would wiggle like crazy right so i don't know why is this the case but the device itself will wiggle like crazy and this is not happening on the Pimax 8K or on the Pimax 5K Plus. But yeah, the world stays perfectly where it is here with the Pimax uh, with the Vive Pro, just like we have this you have this minimal FOV. Oh my goodness, this is bad. Anyways, now let's try Project Cars 2 with the Vive Pro. So, here we are now, Project Cars 2 with the Vive Pro. And yeah, oh my god, the thing is just like, I'm looking through binoculars right now. So I'm not wearing this racing helmet right now. What I'm wearing, like, I don't know, some, some kind of goggles which would completely restrict my field of view. So, I just showed you the field of view in SteamVR and... Yeah, it is... Unfortunate. <laughs> I must really say it's unfortunate and I'm wondering how could I how could I play this? How could I play this like this before? It's super tough to go back after you've tried the the Pimax 8K and the 5K Plus. It is really really tough. So, let me tell you uh in terms of clarity. This looks clear. This looks good. I would say it looks on par with the Pimax 5K Plus, but with this little FOV. 
Yeah, and I'm still a bad driver. <laughs> no matter, no matter on which uh, on which headset I'm using this. Um, in terms of colors, it does look good. I would say, in terms of colors, it looks better than Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K. Clarity again, very very comparable. Very comparable. I would say. Screen door effect, very comparable with the 8K. Well, it also uses the same, the same pentile um, subpixel structure like the 8K. So yeah, that's, that's very comparable what I see here. But the thing that's pulling me off right now is simply the FOV. Simply the FOV is suddenly being restricted, suddenly being restricted to, to this kind of FOV. It's it's like wow, it's like mind-boggling how I could ever enjoy that. And uh, yeah. Guys, if you have no chance of uh, of buying the Pimax 5K plus or the 8K, don't try it <laughs> because your current experience is going to feel bad. So, clearly not wearing a racing helmet, wearing something, wearing bin binoculars, wearing binoculars and uh, yeah that's that's truly the problem here right now in terms of um in terms of frames per second well it's it's very fluid it's very nice really very nice but it doesn't feel like like so much better than what i had before with the pimax 5k plus in the pimax 8k so let's have a look let's have a look at the frames per second now so yes, look at this, average frame per second, 75. Definitely more than what we saw with, um, with the Pimax devices. So probably 20 frames per second more here with, on, the, on, the, uh, on the Vive Pro. However, <laughs> however, if I would have to make the choice, do I want to play this with with 75 frames per second on the Vive Pro, or do I want to play this with 55 frames per second on the Pimax 5K Plus? Guys, the decision is so clear for the Pimax 5K Plus, or even for the Pimax 8K. Really, there is like, it's not even a comparison at all. The FOV is just such a joy Together with the clarity of the Pimax 5K Plus, really, there's no comparison at all. So, let's come to a conclusion here. All right, so I've just checked out Project Cars 2 on the Pimax 8K, the Pimax 5K Plus, and the Vive Pro on my 1080 Ti computer. And what can I tell? It is just awesome to play this title on the Pimax 8K and on the 5K Plus. The field of view just makes all the difference. And even though the Vive Pro does look good in its small field of view, if you take this small field of view into consideration and compare it to the Pimax devices, it's just no comparison at all. It's just not fun anymore. You want to have this huge FOV that makes you feel you're really sitting in the car. And even though the Vive Pro can do 20 frames per second more than the other devices, actually, really, if I compare this experience that I just had, the Pimax devices clearly, clearly win. There's really no comparison at all. And my conclusion with the 1080 Ti computer, with the rig that, I'm, that I built myself for the Pimax headsets, you can play Project Cars 2 very, very well. And it's gonna be a dream experience for all of you Project Cars 2 lovers. It's just so much better than before. Now for the FPS values, for the actual values, it was around 55, right? 55, 57, but I must also say that I was using the OBS and recorded everything in 60 frames per second while playing. So actually, I'm going to, after I've recorded this video, I'm going to play these titles again without OBS running and I'm going to put the actual frames per seconds that you're gonna get if you're not recording this at the same time. I'm going to write them into the description below. So do have a look into the description below to find out about the frames per second when you're not recording this. 
All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.